In this example, we want to integrate x to the fifth times e to the x to the sixth dx. So this is the, the type of problem that will scare a lot of people just based on the visual of looking at that and you go, oh, I have no idea because this is like the type of problem that might appear on like an exam or a test or uh, when you're doing like a mix of practice problems in the back of your textbook or whatever you're doing, whatever homework assignment you're working on, this is the type of problem that you might freeze up for a second and think like, what do I even do? What method do I even try? Uh, especially when you are in like calc 2 if you're in a calc 2 level class where you've learned or even just some business calc classes will do integration by parts uh, that's that kind of throws in another dimension of like what method works best here so here i just want to use substitution i just want to substitute because when we're using use substitution you want that term you take the derivative of that term you want it to be able to become a term that substitutes out and we want to be able to integrate u. So if I look at this, these options here, it's really easy to integrate e. So I'm going to set u as my x to the sixth, because then this turns out to be e to the u. And that's going to be super easy to integrate because the integral of e to the x is e to the x. So e to the u would just be e to the u. So hopefully, if I take the derivative of u, hopefully that will then be this term and be able to substitute out and just become du that's the goal that's the dream let's see if it works out so i'm going to take the derivative of u derivative of x to the sixth is 6x six to the fifth uh, dx so yeah it does work out i have x to the fifth x to the fifth dx dx the only difference though is i have this times six which is not a big deal at all it's super easy to deal with um, so we got our goal. So that means I'm going to have the integral, which I know I, I still have a little bit of work to do with that six. I did not forget about that. Let me go below this. Uh, yeah, let me go red. So I'm going to have the integral of e to the u du. Now I do want to deal with this six though. So this x to the fifth dx, that's a clean substitution, but this six, there's two ways to think about this. You can offset it with dividing by six. Or I, I actually prefer this way, and I know some people don't exactly prefer to look at it this way. This is x to the fifth dx equal to du over six. So either way, this is substituting out being replaced with du over six. So you end up with like du over six, but then you can just take out that one six. Uh, I've noticed over the years of teaching substitution and just me learning substitution when I, when I learned it and just doing practice problems, I just I, I understand this process a little bit more like it just makes more sense to me to, to divide by the six and then like okay here's my substitution so then i'm just going to have a one six out to the side um in some cases it's a little difficult to try to offset that term of like all right this is a negative two-thirds but i don't have that here how do i offset that like that just becomes a little bit complicated at times so i just always say just divide and then take out that constant if it, if it helps you but we really don't even need to take out the constant. Like you could just write this as e to the u over six, but I'm just gonna write this as one sixth integral of e to the u du. And then we have a really quick integration there. The integral of e to the u is uh, e to the u. So I'm gonna have one sixth e to the u plus c. Don't forget to substitute back in your u. So I'm going to have 1 sixth e to the x to the sixth plus c. And there it is. So what looked very scary and very difficult actually turned out to be a pretty manageable, pretty straightforward substitution problem. So I'll always try to just use substitution if possible. And in some cases, you're going to get pretty lucky. And this wasn't too bad. Like the, the, this looks scary. It definitely did, but not too crazy of a problem.